What is going on guys welcome back to another Android application development video in Android Studio. In this video we are going to learn how to implement tab layout in our application. So at the end of this video we are going to achieve this. This is my application. So we have three different tabs that are home, notification and setting. When I click on notification tab it goes to notification fragment, settings fragment. When I swipe it also it will go to different fragments. So let's get started. I already created a project which has only hello world nothing than that. I'll remove this hello world text view from here and make this constant layout to relative layout. First I will add the tab layout. So for tab layout I will write tab. So here it is tab layout. I will click it. Width will be match parent. Height will be wrap content. And I will expand like this. So I will give the ID to it. Tab layout. And inside this I will add tab item. So tab item also same. Width match parent. Height will be wrap content and I will give the text home. The first tab item will be home. It is right here. I'll copy this, paste it, again paste it, take notification. Third item I will give settings. So we have tab layout and three tab items. Below this I will add a view pager where we will show all the three fragments. So let's add that view pager. I will add view pager to width will be match parent and height will be match parent. So I will give this ID view pager and I will set it below tab layout so that it will come here. So our layout design is ready. We have tab layout and view pager. So let's run this application. Let's see how it is looking. So our app is running. We have three tab items, home notification and settings. We have not added any fragments till now. So let's add those three fragments first. So I'll go here and create a new package first. I will give it name fragments and inside that package I will create three fragments. So first one I will go to fragment blank fragment. I will name it home fragment. Finish this boilerplate code I will remove to make it easy. So I will only take on create view method. So here we have layout fragment home. So I'll go to that layout. Remove this. I'll make it relative layout and I will add a text view, simple text view to show wrap content, wrap content, text will be our home fragment and I will center it and text size also I will increase to 32 dp. So this is our home fragment, you can design it. So let's create other two fragment also, fragment new. So I have created all three fragments. So I will close this. Now I will create adapter for view pager. So I will create by new Java class my view pager adapter. You can give any name. It will inherit fragment state adapter. So which will have some methods. Implement methods. Okay. So we have get item count. So here return zero is there. We will return the item count how many tabs are there. So I will say three tabs are there and create fragment. We will return the each fragment. So we have position over here. So we will switch case that position. If our position is first one, that means return new home fragment we will return. If it is second page, return new notification fragment. If it is third page, return new settings fragment we have to write default also so let's write default will be our home fragment so here we it is asking to make a constructor we will make it constructor also so that's it this adapter page is done so let's close this and in main activity let's create those references that is tab layout tab layout view pager 2 i will name it view pager 2 and we have just created an adapter so my view pager adapter my view pager adapter so here we will give the ID tab layout view pager is equal to view pager for my view pager adapter we will create a new object by passing the activity and for view pager 2 we will set this adapter set adapter 
my view pager adapter so this view pager 2 will get this adapter we created just now now whenever we select the tab in activity main xml we have three tabs whenever we select the notification or settings tab it should go to settings page or notification page so for that in tab layout we have one method dot add on tab selected listener so we will listen to this and on tab selected if any of the tab is selected we will go to view pager 2 dot set current item we will pass the position of that tab so whatever the tab is clicked we will pass that position to view pager so in this way when you click on tab it will go to that page so let's run it and test it so our application is running so let's see if i click on notification tab it go to notification fragment when i click on settings tab it goes to settings fragment so if i swipe from here it is going to notification fragment if i swipe again it is going to settings fragment but tab layout selected item is not changing because on click of tab layout we have added the listener but on change of view pager we have not added any changes so tab layout is not getting notified so let's fix this so after this method also view pager so view pager has also one method register on page change callback so we will register this callback we will select this on page selected if on page is selected we got the position so that position we will set it to tab layout so tab layout dot get tab at position it will return our tab which we will set at select so it will select that tab whichever the position of view pager is so let's run it so now if we swipe this is also being selected so i came back to notification fragment home fragment it is being selected so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you and before going please click on the subscribe button see you in the next video bye bye